I think I like IG's draft a little bit better. As, uh... <laughs> There's so many games. Dogfight has played like 7,000 games. Oh my god. <coughs> Excuse me. Cough, cough. Dogfight's getting really aggressive. 99% probability of winning, he said. Is ADC Doodle? I believe so, yes. Not quite sure, no, though. But I believe so. Well, the poor little treants. Hi! Yeah, I think, I think IG with, like, their better global pressure, and then also Morphling Kunkka. Like, Morphling Kunkka and Morphling Nature's Prophet, once he gets level 20 and gets that, uh, that ta Morph Target's allies, I think that could be it. Yeah, there's PL, but PL into two Tide Readers isn't going to feel very good. I like IG's draft more. Obviously, it, that's no sort of like it's not it's not so much of an outdraft that I would be willing to just call it for C deck right now. So it's going to be Kunkka versus Troll, in the, or Razor versus Troll. Sorry, that's right. Emo is on the Razor. This troll, I kind of want them to maybe... But who else could you put in the mid lane, right? You can't really do much here. You're just going to have to deal with the troll not having a very good lane. The Shen... The Shen skin looks so weird to me. Like, I always think that the Shen... Uh, the way the Shen is skinned... It really feels, it looks more like Disruptor. Ooh, Morphling taking a lot of harass here from James with the Ether Shock and the right clicks of a Shadow Shaman. Seems hurt. Okay, Impale lands onto the Shen, but there's not enough damage there. He is pretty low though. Who do I got from map one? IG. The troll's actually, he's going even with emo right now. Does emo have any points in static link? He, he's got two in them. Little static link XM only steals about 1700. Da uh, 17 damage? 1700. Not 1700. 17 damage. I thought I turned that off. Why is the bottom one moving faster than the middle one? Oh, oh God. Mm. So the late, this is still not first blood. Three minutes into this game. Laning phases is actually going C deck's way. They don't really have a, a, a goal lead at all, as the, the difference in CS is just a, like three or four. Three or four between the wave. Oh, but with the. Ooh, 
with the retaliate stacks running. One, two, three, he does so much damage. And one, two, three, the Morphling falls with a little bit of help from the Shackles of the Shadow Shaman as well. Man, retaliate is just so good. You hit so hard against a Morphling who is suddenly caught at uh, low agility. I he should have two points in attribute shift up now. Dogfights is going to be able to withdraw from this. What did I jinx, Max? Jinxed everything. That's what I did. Um. I mean, man. Yeah. Oh, I jinxed, I jinxed, uh, IG, probably. Caster's Curses, man. 24 and 4. How is, how is XM beating Emo in the mid lane as a troll versus a razor? He's just gotta be playing with such precise positioning. Okay, 1, 2, 3 is back up to 7 retaliate charges. Do I cast only Dota? I cast Dota, and then I've done some, like, Fortnite, and I mostly cast Dota. I don't really cast CSGO. I'm not good enough at remembering all of the names of the locations in CSGO. I used to cast League a long time ago. For now, it's mostly Dota. I'm in, in looking to branch out, though. So all of the all of the lanes are winning for C deck. I really want them to add a spectator mode to uh, Apex because I want to cast that. I think that game actually has a lot of potential because it's so fast paced. Like Apex is just a really, really fast paced game. Impale going to be dodged out by the Shen there. Dogfights not going to be finding anything for JT to latch on to. And they might fight this down here. They've got the control from the Shen creeps. But not going to be able to find anything. Emo. Still like 30 and 11. For, uh, 39 and 5. Hand, like, props to XM for, for actually winning that lane. They want this kill. I, who are they going to find it onto? They're deciding to go for JT. Stacking up the stuns a little bit there. We'll see if they end up getting punished for that as we are. Getting a little bit of leg. Well. That happened. So happy today. Looks like JT did die. Yeah, they got that kill. Nice. Now emo and only. See, this is a little bit what I'm worried about, right? Is eventually you can, like, the death ball is going to be so strong from IG here. What is XM going for? He's got face boots finished already. Double wraith band. I, this isn't a Battle Fury game, right? Lion, or not Lion, Shadow Shaman is dead. JT finds that kill, gets a little bit of vengeance for for the activity that happened bottom in just a couple minutes ago. Right, 
it is a battle fury game i that's yeah i was kind of thinking about that and i'm like yeah hey, battle fury would be pretty good here for him right yeah you've got nature's profit you can just farm better he could just go yasha though but what i'm thinking is i'm thinking that one of these two like the pl or yeah the pl or the um or the troll one of them needs to pick up something that will help his team in the mid game like there's not going to be enough farm on your side of the map for both of these heroes to be farming the jungle and so i think yeah they're going for sanjin yasha on xm he's going to be the mid game fighter they're going to let uh let the Phantom Lancer kind of be the, the late game powerhouse that they're looking for. The one that's just going to be farming the jungle while everyone else pushes towers. James, he has the shackles. That means the callback, but he is still going to get hit by that shark. A big chunk of his life gets taken out. They've lost the Shen as well. In the back lines, ADC was able to get that kill and now one, two, three on the run, throw out the Whirling Axes just to slow Emo down a little bit. Dog fights takes a lot of damage from this Phantom Lancer. But Shen, but Shen has gotten like the Shen, the rework to divine favor is so weird on the Shen. And now that it's like even worse, like divine favor got destroyed. JT is going to be going down to XM, the Shen, ADC on the chase there. But he is going to have to morph strength here, as there is a lot of very angry members of C-Deck around him. Going for the TP out, will be able to get it as well. Emo? Why are we looking at Emo? He's farming the jungle. PL fight will troll farms. Hmm. JT is going Spirit Vessel. Troll can far or Troll can fight pretty decently with just uh Sanjiasha, actually. I want Troll to get Aghanim Scepter. I want to see the battle trance onto enemies. Dogfights has found the Phantom Lancers. We've got the support coming in. Boats coming out. Torrent, but will it be able to land? He didn't see it coming, and now with the Morphling coming in, but the Doppel walk down to the bottom. They have the Plasma Field here as well. They're trying to get the damage onto the Phantom Lancer, but they just can't find it. Phantom Lancer, he's got to keep running. Nature's Prophet TP's in, gets the Sprout out. He's got another Doppel walk. The Torrent is not going to hit. Phantom Lancer, he's going to be able to survive. And while that's going on, the rest of C-Deck are up in the top lane. They're pushing a tier 2 tower. They're going to be able to take it. So that was a lot of commitment. And you get nothing. You can push this tier 1. Uh, Centaur coming in. Won't be able to get the deny. They're looking for a wraparound fight here. They want to take this. JT gets stunned up. The adaptive strike. Dogfights is just going for the TP out. Torrent not going to be hitting anybody as they drop the shackles onto JT. He's going to get slowed down. The <laughs> Sprout isn't enough. The Stampede forward. No, JT's dead. Phantom Lancer gets that kill. They are doing quite a bit to the Morphling, but not enough to kill him. And now they're going to turn this into another tower. Yeah, hat trick. Unfortunately, no ga in game audio. Sorry, man. No, there is no in game audio. You're not crazy. Well, you might be crazy. But you're not crazy for that reason. Five to five, we're 13 minutes into the game. It's less than a thousand gold separating these teams. The highest net worth is this Morphling who is rushing a Lincoln Spear. He's followed very closely in terms of net worth, though, by uh, Centaur, XM, and the Phantom Lancer. So one, two, three, 
and the lamps are in at X7. They're going to smoke up. Troll's going to Fusel Blade. Troll's the PL now. Does PL get the Fusel Blade too then? And we did see Dog Fights. He just. He was not. Was not going to survive that at all. Here's a fifth position, Dick's up. Uh, and to be honest, I thought the death ball was going to be coming out from IG, but apparently it's C deck that are. that are snowballing this into the towers, taking them out pretty quickly as well. Yeah, Chen falls off super hard. The Divine Favor, like, my thing with Chen is the Divine Favor nerfs and the fact that now you can't, like, pick up the Siege Creeps too, he feels... He feels, re like, he's basically a glorified Relocate right now. Like, all he's going to do is basically be the person that brings the rest of your team in for a fight. And then hits R to heal everybody a little bit. But that really feels like that's basically all he can do in the mid to the late game. His creeps are just not tanky enough to survive. Double javelin. <laughs> just be like, look, I'm not looking for right click damage. I'm looking for proc. He did have a Javelin queued up at one point, I believe. Shen has Medallion. Yeah, that's Diffusal. Diffusal into BKB. Phantom Lancer has Diffusal as well. No one's going to have mana for IG. IG, IG are going to be able to cast like their first round of spells and then everyone's mana is going to just get instantly burned away. <laughs> No, engagement, blink forward, they get the hoof stomp onto dog fights, torrent onto two, going by him a little bit of time. They have the control though, and the damage comes out. He is going to give his life just so the rest of his team can uh, scamper away, TP out, do whatever they have to, to get back to the safety of their side of the map. Morph is actually going pretty close to that Lincoln. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, MKB Mjolnir. Yeah, but the the problem, is, well, eventually you build those, right? I, I think you do need to go for the, the survivability items before you, like, hard commit to an MKB or something like that. Impale onto the troll. The boat's coming in. Not going to be landing onto anybody, though. Vexem, he wants to keep fighting this. <clears throat> He's like, I know there's no boat. They don't find JT, though. And TP out from Morphling. Gets him out of there just fine as well. Look at all of these stuns. Okay. That's one thing that Shen does have. Is he has three centaurs. He's got three centaurs. So many stuns. So much control. They walk by the first one. Plasma field going to scout out that Roshan is incredibly low. It will end up going down. Oli's able to snatch the Aegis though. So they don't get that. They do get the double uh, hoof stomp though. Emo dropping very low. He has the eye of the storm running. 
PL going to turn around and try to fight this, but James and 123, they're up both solo. They will be able to kill off the Morpheline. Now the Nature's Prophet coming around for round number two, but he gets the Sprout. The Hoof Stomp means that he's not going to be able to TP away. The Bolt comes in and lands onto XM. And they're going to chase this, but I don't think they have the speed, not with the Spirit Vessel and the Phase Boots. And they didn't get the Aegis. So IG, they played that really well. They were able to snatch that Aegis, deny it from C deck, but losing those two uh, means that the fight still does go C deck's way, and now they're going to be able to turn this into at least a tier 2 tower. Still, uh, like, Eye of the Storm's down, they know that, Morph's down, and uh, Boat is down too, but they don't want to risk it a little bit. Where they get the damage to kill them. They... Like, if JT... If JT and the Morphling were doing fine, they'd have the damage. But they're not doing fine. So, yes, their damage is very lacking. Dogfight is going to be able to uh, run. But he is also going to be able to die. Now they've popped the Lincoln Sphere. JT coming in the back lines, though. The boat lands onto XM. He does die before he can get that battle trance off. And now 1, 2, 3, stuck by the X. Another torrent coming through. It's not even going to be needed. They just get the double kill of their own. It was a buyback from dogfights, though. Yeah, Morphling needs more items. Like, with with the Lincoln's Rush, they don't really have damage, but now he'll be able to build into damage items. JT, there's just so much. I don't know if, the, if hitting that shrine was the play, man. Because all that does is gives you more mana for the PL to burn off. They see dogfights here. Oli, they're going to turn this around. The Hex, but the Haste Rune is running, so that is a speedy little chicken. And they're going to be able, they're going to be able to push C deck back. Well, I say that, and then C deck are like, mm, actually, we don't want to retreat. Stolen hex onto one two three. Their dog fights is out of mana though, so he is he gets hexed up. He's going to die. Emo. He pops his BKB. He's trying to fight this with the eye of the storm, but he has to retreat. The damage. Is just a little bit too much. He gets the static link up onto the PL, but the PL will just turn around, look for Oli. Oli gets the TP back home. They have the X onto one, two, three, but I, they just don't have the damage. They don't have the control to kill him. Is PL just going straight heart? I actually like it. I think heart is probably the best second item for a PL. If you are ahead, I should add that caveat. Because usually one of the ways the teams can deal with you is they just kill off all of your illusions. But if your illusions don't die, things can go real south real quick. He isn't going, he isn't going hard though. He's going Manta first. I think he will need a heart at some point. That's not Scotty, I'm pretty sure it's Manta Q though. Anyway, the control comes out, Morphling slowly taking damage here. He does get the hoof stomp off onto one, two, three. But they're fighting into all of the Serpent Wards. It's not. It's going to be plenty. Oh, the Stolen Serpent Wards. Wait, what was that? Oh, no, those were Treants. Like, no one here can steal Serpent Wards. Don't think you want Scotty and Heart. Maybe super late game if you're not the damage dealer, you get away with it. But, yeah, I agree. Scotty and Heart is, like, you end up with damage issues. I mean, PL already ends up with damage issues. Like, in the, like, early late game, PL has some really big damage issues.
He's going Scotty though. So it's not Manta, it's Scotty that he's getting, and he's about 700 gold away from it. BKB is queued up for JT. Now, do they just wait for the next Roche? What is XM building? He is going for Sanjin Yasha now. I do doubt you every day. Every single day of my life. It's the first thing I do when I wake up, Max Potter. No, they do not want to fight into the pit. No one... Yeah, I mean, neither team really wants to fight into the pit. Because if you're fighting into the pit, you have Hoof Stomp, you have all of the crowd control of Shen to worry about. Well, he is actually down to just one uh, Centaur Outrunner. They have found the Morphling. He is going to be able to get that attribute shift off. Do they have the damage to finish him off? It looks like the answer is going to be no. The boat comes through, but there's the Hand of God healing everybody on C deck up. But they, as you said, they just don't really have the damage, XM. He is laying into them. They do kill off JT finally. The Serpent Ward's helping out a lot here. Oli is going to be able to retreat. A nice impale from dogfights. Buying a little bit of time for Emo on this Razor, but it's not going to be enough time. Phantom Lancer, he gets another kill. What can they find? The Blinken from C deck finishes off Oli. Dogfight's going for the TP out, but the shackles are there to stop him. And it's four for nothing. Morvling trying to clear out these waves, trying to make sure that they can't just push, but he might end up dying because of it. Waveform up to the high ground. He's stuck. He is going to go for the TP out. Is there a Blink Hoof Stomp? No. Just going to let him go. I am 100% right all of the time, Hollow Guy. Okay, fortification going to be used, and with uh, it's still only being 26 minutes into the game. Death timers are not particularly long here. So they're going to be able to back off. They're going to look for some more. Uh, some more objectives, I would imagine. Roshan. Respawning in, based on the movement speed, 40-ish seconds is going to be when we see Roshan respawn. Two, three, Crimson Guard, he's going for Lotus Orb into Force Staff. Yeah, his BKB should be actually down to 7 seconds, I believe. Morphling, Ghost Scepter buys him a little bit of time, but not enough. He ends up dying. There's only so much uh, he can morph. It just wasn't enough. Roche. Oh my god, I was almost perfectly right, guys. It was a 42 seconds from my from my prediction on that timer. Nullifier. I mean, yeah, Nullifier. Nullifier is actually going to amplify so much damage. Like, with the attack speeds of these two, it's going to be a lot of tick sounds. If they get it. This game peels over, though. I mean, you've just given away one lane of Rax for completely free. You've got a tier 3 tower left, and the Serpent Wards... Looking to take this, I think he realizes that he can't quite get that melee rack, so going to go ahead 
do the damage he can to the range Drax. Shen is a heal bot. Hand of God and mech. He is going for max healage. They see the Nyx Assassin get the shackles out. He's dead. I really hope not. I really don't want to go back into the meta of just every game has either Phantom Lancer, Terror Blade, or Morphling, and that being like the only three late game carries that anyone would ever pick. Let's not do that, please. Okay, Phantom Lancer picks up the Aegis. I don't know who has the troll has the cheese and emo has death. As that was a four-man hoof stomp. From one, two, three there. Dogfights trying to run away. JT will be able to TP home. Dogfights, he's gonna leave. Somehow they only lo lose emo. And there's GG. They just call it. As they do find uh, one, two, 